A brand new series begins today and this is close to my heart. It's very important for us to go through this series because what we're going to be sharing in this series is a critical aspect of life which is raising the next generation to be a generation of purpose. So we're going to be talking about how to lead our very own children to the road of purpose. Look at your life for a minute. Just take a minute and look at your life, how you are raised, maybe at home or even at school. Let me ask you this question. Was there a deliberate effort that was expended towards you realizing what your purpose in life is? For the most part, the answer is no. And we want to come to a place where we put a stop to this unfortunate thing that we're raising people, we're taking people through our system for 20, 19 years, and when they come out of them, they have absolutely no clue why they're here on the face of the earth. And they have no hint Because I think in raising children, what we need to give them is hints that can convert them to be people of purpose. But we don't do that. What do we do? We do the opposite. I mean, we trample down on purpose. We don't teach purpose because we don't see how it's connecting to making a profit. We live such transactional lives that the idea of purpose, the reason as to why people were born to come on the face of the earth, is never looked at. And children never... I mean, people are just groping in the dark trying to find out why they're existing, what is the meaning of life in the first place, and nobody gives them an answer. The children go and they ask adults, why you not am I here? And the adults have no clue because they don't know themselves what their purpose in life is. That's what we're going to be talking about in this new series. You can be sure it's going to be worth a while. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. When I started coaching people some time back in 2010, there's one feedback that they used to give me. Nearly 100%, close to 100% of everyone that I was coaching, they kept saying this thing. I wish somebody told me these things earlier. I wish someone showed me these things before. In other words, their eyes were open to be able to see. And that's just a testament of the way we are living in our lives. That's just a testament of the way we are raising generations. Generations after generations. I think we've come from a very long series in the past. Just a few episodes ago, we were talking about thinking. And I think it's important for us generationally to stop the traffic and rethink that the things that worked for my father are not the things that are going to work for my son. In fact, the things that work for my father are not the things that are going to work for me. But there is one constant thing that changes not. Technology can come and technology can go. Dispensations can come and dispensations can go. Governments can come and governments can go. Education systems can come and they can go. But there is one major thing that changes not and that is the purpose of the individual. The meaning, the reason for the birth of the individual. Mark Twain said that there are two most important days in someone's life. First, the day they were born and second, the day they discover why. The day you discover your purpose, that day will always be there from one generation to another so the problem is this the problem is that we are not focused on purpose the problem is that we are 
focused on a transactional life that focuses on putting food on the table. And we are all looking at it as if it's the most legitimate kind of life to live. Legitimate in such a way that, okay, I don't owe anybody anything. I've paid my bills. I'm, you know, living in my own house. I've built my own house. I have my own businesses. I have my own cars. I have my own family. I have my own heritage. And that's just about it. And at the end of the day, you look back in your life and you're thinking, is, is that all there is? I don't know about you, but have you ever reached some levels in life that you really so craved to get to? And then when you get there, you ask yourself, you guy, is, is that it? Is that all there is to life? There's got to be something else in this, in this life. You know, you crave for a job after school and you say, I can, Lord, I can do anything. Just give me anything. And someone gives you a job, actually. And when you, when you get there, it's like a mirage. You're thinking, is this all there is to this life? This job is crap. Can I, can I get a better job? And you start praying for promotions. And then the promotion comes. And then the same thing, deja vu once again. The answer, friends, is in living a life of purpose. And now that you are listening to me, probably you are an adult who has children or who is planning to have children. We cannot dare continue taking our children through the same route that we went through ourselves, living a purposeless life and living a transactional life. You and I know that it's not working. It's not working for the majority of people. This transactional capitalist, uh, when I talk about capitalism, it becomes debatable. But this transactional kind of a life, it doesn't work for everyone. That's why you find hordes of people who are jobless and yet they have purpose. And yet they have gifts and yet they have talents. And yet God sent them. They have a calling. They have passion inside of them. But they're walking around saying that they don't have anything to do because they're jobless. And they have purpose. You know, I'm, I'm curating, I've created a course and built a course that's called Purpose to Profit, which presupposes, and by the way, people are going through it, and everyone who's gone through that course is coming back and saying, I've got clarity of what my purpose is, and now I'm going through the steps of monetizing that particular purpose. My point I'm making is that don't think that the transactional life that we were taught to live in is what is going to work for our children. We're doing a great disservice for them. That we are giving them all the knowledge outside of them. Giving them all the knowledge in physics, in chemistry, in mathematics, in biology, in commerce and in industry, in history and in geography. We're telling them who discovered the Cape of Good Hope. We're telling them what the temperature is in Timbuktu right now. We're telling them summer, winter and so on. We're telling them monocotyledons and dicotyledons. We're telling them all this technical Pythagoras theorem information and we're not telling them about their purpose great disservice it starts from their purpose so kids develop and they have all this knowledge they have all these papers they have all these degrees and they're grouping around like someone grouping around in the dark of their lives trying to make sense out of it and they think that making sense out of life means first of all you get the degree and then you get the job and then you buy the car and then you build the house and then you get promotions and then you get married they think that that is what life is all about and life is not all about that life is not consistent in the abundance of riches life is about you fulfilling your purpose being the best version of yourself, transforming this world with the blessing that you are. You are a blessing in this world. We never, you know, we, we normally tell people when we're taking them to school that they are a blessing to this world commensurate to how many degrees they have and commensurate to how many answers they put on paper in the questions and on the things that they have crammed in their minds, in their heads, and now they are vomiting those things on paper. And all along, these are people of purpose. There is no human being who is not a human being of purpose. You cannot find me a human being who is not a human being of purpose. None. It doesn't matter the color of their skin. It doesn't matter their geographical location. It doesn't matter how long, how tall, or how short they are. It doesn't matter which gender they are, male or female. There is no one who lacks purpose. But the glaring thing that you ever saw on the face of the earth is that we never teach people purpose. We never teach children purpose. We teach them many other things. 
and they have their place. I'm not saying all those things we're teaching them are useless. They have their place. My child has got to learn how to read. My child has got to learn how to write. My child has got to learn how to think, how to calculate, and how to use their gifts and their talents. They have their place. But it's a great disservice if they're growing up and we're not teaching them purpose. The question would be, how in the world am I going to teach my children purpose? Someone is asking, how am I going to teach them purpose? Well, first of all, you need to know your purpose, what your purpose is. If you don't know what your purpose is, you've got to really enroll in the course that I've created. Purpose discovery, eight milestones to your purpose discovery. You've got to enroll into it. Uh, you can just Google it online and find it. Then let's get started with it. First of all, know your purpose. And then I'm going to give you these free lessons on these episodes on how you can teach your children how to discover theirs one step at a time. The discovery of purpose is made by an individual. You, you cannot tell me, you cannot wake up and tell me, Lawrence, you're a prophet. Or Lawrence, you're a pastor. Or Lawrence, you're this and you're, you're that. That is a hint, yes, but it's not the foolproof thing. You, you, I cannot use your word. I cannot take your word for it. My point is that the children have to be given an environment where themselves they come to the conclusion that this is the field of purpose that I'm supposed to operate in. So that they veer off from this doomed lifestyle. I'm saying doomed deliberately because soon enough we will know that this lifestyle that is transactional is doomed. Where we are living to make a living, we are living to transact. We are living to pay bills. We are living to earn and pay bills. And there is no insight behind that process. There is no purpose behind that process. There is no meaning behind that process. There is no transformation behind that process. We just living a transactional life. It is a doomed life. We need to move away from it. And we need to start teaching these young people how to live purpose, how to embrace purpose. Because purpose is transformational. Purpose is fulfilling as it is. It's a fulfilling to the person who owns the purpose. And it's transformation to the people who engage with that particular purpose. It is fulfilling to you as the owner. It is transformational to others. Purpose has always to do with other people. Or other things apart from us. So building your own house... To me is not purpose. Buying your own car is not purpose. Going to school and getting a degree for yourself is not necessarily purpose. Purpose comes when transformation happens. And you can see why I'm saying we have a big problem here. Because the life we're building or the life we're discipling people to live is centered around self. Centered around the self. Me, my degree my job, my house, my bank account, my vacation, my family, me, me, me. That's not purpose. And I'm not saying that, that, that that's wrong. You should have your own family, you should have your own car, you should have your own house, you should have your own bank account, you should have your own money. But that's not it in life. It's got to end at the level of transformation. So we are going to continue deliberating on these things. But uh, this is a topic that is very close to my heart and I hope it is close to your heart also. Let us learn to teach our children about purpose. and Let us start by changing our own consciences about it. Until tomorrow, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.